James B. Stewart, Disney War, The Battle for the Magic Kingdom Welcome to the fascinating world of Disney and its internal battles as chronicled in James B. Stewart's book, Disney War, The Battle for the Magic Kingdom. This summary will provide you with an intriguing glimpse into the power struggles and clashes of personalities within the Walt Disney Company. Get ready to witness the rise of Michael Eisner as chairman and CEO, his impact on Disney's evolution, and the eventual fractures in relationships with key executives like Jeffrey Katzenberg and Roy E. Disney. Through ups and downs, the story of Disney War unveils the consequential decisions that shaped the company's future, and highlights the significance of leadership in the world of entertainment. The Disney Family Feud Roy E. Disney, the nephew of Walt Disney, disagreed with Michael Eisner's leadership style at Walt Disney Company, which he felt had made the company overblown and pompous. Despite attempts to remove him from the board, Roy stood his ground and eventually walked out. The Transformation of Disney, the Eisner Era This piece describes the story behind the revitalization of Disney under the leadership of Michael Eisner, Frank Wells, and Jeffrey Katzenberg. The team revamped Disney's culture, leading to a cutthroat, fast-paced environment that redefined animation. Eisner, the CEO, initially knew nothing about Disney, but his prowess as a storyteller, combined with Wells' steadying influence, allowed the company to surpass its competition, dominate box offices, and enter a golden age of animation. However, tensions arose with Katzenberg, Eisner's creative partner, over compensation and leadership roles, leading to a corporate divorce. The Disney Power Struggle This book excerpt details the fierce power struggle that unfolded at Disney in the 1990s. It all began when Jeffrey Katzenberg demanded $60 million from CEO Michael Eisner, triggering a cutthroat culture of survival of the fittest. Eisner's acquisition of ABC, one of the biggest mergers ever, fueled his pursuit of Hollywood agent Michael Ovitz. Eisner promptly hired Ovitz as president, sparking animosity among senior management. Ovitz negotiated a $90 million settlement with Katzenberg, but when general counsel Litvak and CFO Steve Ballenbach rejected it, Katzenberg sued Disney for as much as $12.5 billion. The public feud between Ovitz and NBC president Don Olmeyer led to Ovitz's firing and a $140 million settlement. Eisner faced criticism, but with a board of supporters, he dismissed institutional investors' concerns and exercised stock options worth $565 million. Eisner's Overreaching In this book, the rise and fall of Michael Eisner's career at Disney is chronicled with a focus on his hubris and overreaching decisions. From the firing and replacing of staff to costly and failed projects, the story illustrates how his own lack of integrity eventually led to a loss of support from even his closest allies. Despite successes with distributing Pixar's animated movies and acquiring the Fox Family Cable Network, his contentious relationship with Steve Jobs, Disney's own flops, and rejection of hit TV series Lost and Desperate Housewives ultimately led to a letter-writing campaign and the ousting of Eisner from the board. The Battle for Disney In the early 2000s, Roy Disney and Stanley Gold resigned from the board of directors of the Walt Disney Company, accusing CEO Michael Eisner of gross mismanagement. Jobs threatened not to renew Pixar's deal unless Eisner left. This led to a Save Disney campaign launched by Roy and Gold, urging shareholders to vote against management. Institutional investors also opposed Eisner. Although Eisner survived the shareholders' meeting, he was forced to give up the title of chairman. In 2004, Eisner announced that he would step down as CEO when his contract expired in 2006, planning to become chairman with Iger as CEO. Roy and Gold dismissed this as window dressing, and the board decided to search for a new CEO over Eisner's objections. The battle for Disney concluded with Eisner's loss of power, marking an unprecedented vote against a major American corporation. Eisner's downfall Eisner's leadership at Disney led to a mix of achievements and failures. While he successfully boosted revenues and profits, 
his leadership style and decision-making caused significant damage to the company. Criticisms of Eisner include micromanaging, disregarding others' input, and fostering infighting. He also made costly decisions such as rejecting major hits like the Fox Family Channel and Euro Disney. Without key players like Katzenberg, the animation unit faltered, and the live-action studio lacked earlier successes. Eisner's overreaching and underestimation of the Disney name eventually brought him down, resulting in his departure from the company. In conclusion, Disney War, The Battle for the Magic Kingdom, offers a captivating look into the inner workings of the Walt Disney Company under the leadership of Michael Eisner. From his early successes to the tumultuous relationships he had with executives and board members, this book gives a comprehensive account of the various factors that impacted Disney's growth. Notable moments in the narrative include the reignition of Disney's animation unit, the tale of Euro Disney, and Eisner's eventual ousting from a company he'd once helmed so successfully. The story underscores the importance of effective leadership and serves as a reminder that missteps can lead to monumental consequences. Ultimately, Disney War is a riveting exploration of corporate intrigue, power struggles, and the impact of individual actions on the legacy of an iconic brand.